what is up beauty babes we are going to do my soft glam makeup look today starting with primer we're going to go in with the neutrogena um matte primer plus serum with rice protein it's nice to have anything that is a skincare mixed with your makeup so this is a good primer to start then next we're going to take another primer this is the milk primer the holy grail the goat okay apply this to your face it's like glue i'm only putting this in my t-zone in the areas that i need it but this stuff girl is going to make your makeup stick okay so apply that in your t-zone I have oily skin so I like to set my primer after I apply it so I'm just applying this in the same areas I put that milk primer I'm not putting it all over my face like I said just in that t-zone area for foundation we're going in with this Milani foundation in the color spiced rum I am a full coverage girl so I'm gonna go in with two coats of this just make sure you blend it in really well and then we're gonna go in with concealer Next, I'm going in with two different concealers. The first one is the Revlon Photo Candid. This is my concealer shade. Um, this is just for extra layer of coverage to cover any dark marks or under eye darkness that I have. Then to highlight, I'm going in with Cool Tan in the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I apply this to my chin area and in my under eye. I love a bright under eye so I definitely take a lighter shade and go under my eyes only. Under my eyes only. Do not put this all over your face. Just under my eyes to brighten. A tip to get more coverage out of your concealer is to let it dry down a bit first and then lightly blend under your eye and mostly blend on the outer corners. This will get you a lot more coverage from your concealer. So next we're going to set that concealer in place. Now I know you're looking at this powder like sis, that is not the right color for you, okay? I ran out of my banana powder, um, so I'm using this airspun powder and yes, it is known to give you flashback Mary, but I have a way to fix that, so no worries. We're going to set our face in place and then fix it later. I'm going to let that bake while I go off camera and do my brows and then we will start on the eyes. Well hello, we are really close. Anyway, we're going to go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and start with this neutral brownish, I don't even know what call, to call this color, but we're going to put that all over the crease and start blending that in. Next, we'll take this medium brown color and apply that right over top of our transition color and blend. Um, blending is really key when it comes to any makeup look, honestly, but especially with the soft glam. You want it to be as blended as possible to be really seamless. Now, cutting my crease with the P. Louise base, I'm going to take it on the back of my hand in a very, very flat brush, and I'm going to slowly, emphasis on slowly, start cutting my crease. You want to take your time with this. I know it's sped up in the video, but it takes a lot of practice, so you want to take your time. If you need help finding your crease, be sure to look up, and it kind of carves out where you can draw that line, but don't get too frustrated. It takes a lot of time, so if you don't get it perfect, just keep practicing. And then once I'm done that, I'm going to go over that cut crease area to set it with this nude brown color. I'm really not sure what it's called, but I use that all over the lid. On the outer corner, I take this deep brown color and start blending it in. For the under eye, I use that lighter brown shade, and then in the inner corner, I use a gold. And then I apply mascara and coat them really well, and then apply my lashes. So we're going to obviously repeat on the other side, and now that we're finished, we are going to finish the rest of the face. Now to fix this whole powder situation, you want to sweep and pat in whatever excess is on your face. 
Now taking a setting powder that matches your skin tone, you want to set the perimeters of your face first. Take that color, sweep it around on the outsides of your face. And then taking whatever's excess on the brush, you're going to lightly sweep that over wherever you applied the light setting powder. For bronzer, I'm using my Kylie bronzer and my Black Radiance bronzer and sweeping that on the outside of my face. One is more cool tone, one is more warm tone. I don't know, I just like the way that it looks combining the both of them together. So I bronze the perimeters of my face. Then I bronze my nose as well. I don't contour, I'm not trying to change the shape of my nose. I like the natural shape of my nose. The only thing that I do is add this little line just to create a little button nose effect, but I'm not changing the shape of my nose, just simply bronzing it and adding the shadows back to where they were. For blush, this is the Always Spicy Blush by e.l.f. It's just a nice wine-colored, deep, reddish pink. I don't know, but I think these colors look so good on black skin. And then for highlighter, I'm taking the Wet n Wild highlighter. This is like a golden color. I don't like bright white highlighters. I like things that are golden and just like sun-kissed. So I'm applying this on my cheekbones, my forehead, my nose, and my upper lip. Also the brow bone, this just emphasizes your brows and makes them pop. Can y'all tell this is my favorite lip liner? Anyway, I'm applying this little baby NYX Espresso liner to the outer perimeters of my mouth and creating an ombre effect with that brown liner. And then in the center of my lip, I'm applying this Revlon Matte Lipstick in the color Pick Me Up. And again, I want that ombre effect, so I apply it mainly in the center. I don't want it too far on the outsides. I want it to look like a gradient, so I apply that in the center. I take a little bit of concealer and go around my lips where I might have overdrawn and just clean it all up. Now another goat, another necessity, it is this Maybelline Lasting Fix 16 hour setting spray y'all. This stuff sets my face all day, like I'm oily and this stuff keeps me matte. So spray this everywhere, I drench myself. Take a few seconds, let that dry down just a bit and then you're going to take your damp beauty blender and lightly blend everything into your face. Just lightly pressing that into your face, blending everything together and just making sure that everything is flawless. And that is my version of Soft Glam. Um, this is literally one of my favorite makeup looks. I love how this turned out today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next video.